Hi and welcome. In this video for WP Toolkit, we're going to look at how to set up and use your WP Profiler plugin. Now, it really is a very simple plugin to use, so the setup process isn't difficult and we can run through it fairly quickly. So, first, let's scroll down the page so we can see all the options available for us under WP Toolkit Profiler. Let's start off with the optimized database option, which will bring up a new page. And as you can see, it's already checking to see if our databases have any problems with them. Now, as you can see on this site, it's saying that my databases are fine, there's zero overhead, and they're running at 100% efficiency. Let's pop over to a different site. Basically, over time, especially as your site gets bigger and older, your databases can get messy and in fact get corrupted. This particular option will tidy your databases up, remove anything that shouldn't be in there, re-index them and make sure that they're running at 100% efficiency. And all we need to do is click on the button to perform database optimization and confirm that we want to go ahead and run it. It is recommended that you run a backup before you run this process. You should be running backups on a regular basis anyway, just to make sure that you've got something to go back to if you do have any problems whatsoever. And as you saw, that took very little time to run. We're now back with our databases running at 100% efficiency. Now this particular site is well over 10 years old and and has a fair amount of content on it. So running this process on a regular basis to keep the databases optimized and running at 100% efficiency keeps my site loading quickly and keeps it from having any problems. Now for the other options on this page, it's basically the same process. If there is a problem found, you'll be informed with a message here and all you need to do is click on the button to perform the revisions, the changes, the fixes, the optimization and the system. The plugin will do it for you automatically and it is very, very quick to run as you can see. In other words, we've made sure that WP Profiler makes it easy enough that you can look after the optimization of your databases and the efficient running of your site without the technical know-how that you might expect. Okay, next we're gonna look at image optimization. But for this, I'm gonna pop back to the other blog we were looking at because this blog already has all its images optimized. Now, as you can see on this site, I've got 157 images in the library which are unoptimized. We can see the unoptimized size total here over on the right and what we need to do is optimize all these images. First thing we need to do is down here at the bottom there is a link for tiny PNG developers. I click on that and you will open up a new page that will look like this. This is tinypng.com and on the developer API page here is where you can pop in your name, your email address and you'll get a free API key. Okay now that is a long string of numbers and letters which you can grab and you can come back and you can paste it into here and then click on save. Once that's done, any new images that you upload to your site will be automatically optimized for size to make sure that they're quick loading images on your site and don't slow your site down. Large unoptimized images on websites, especially blogs, are one of the biggest causes of slow loading pages, which we don't want. WP Profiler automatically optimizes the images to make sure that's not gonna to happen to your site. But what about those existing 157 images that we already have on our site? That's why we have the bulk optimize images option. So let's look at that next. You will need your tiny PNG API key registered and installed for this to work. And all we need to do is choose the batch size that we want to run from the drop down list. I'm just going to run with 30. As it says here, unless you've got a high speed host, it can slow things down if you're doing big batches. 30 is fine. So I'm just going to click on 30, click on start bulk optimization and let that run. I'm going to pause the video while it processes because it will take a few seconds to run. Now it took less than 30 seconds to run for a batch of 30 images. So with the number I've got to do, it's going to take me two or three minutes to complete the whole lot and run through them in batches of 30. Now you'll also see that our unoptimized size was 11 megabytes. We're down now to eight megabytes. You can see what a big difference this makes by optimizing your images. You can also see that we've used 65 of our 500 API usage limit, which is free for 500 on tiny PNG. If you need more than 500 a month, it is going to be paid, but it is actually quite cheap to run extra API credits as well. I have a paid account because I have quite a few blogs, but it is really quite cheap. As I say though, 500 credits are free every month. So for most people's needs, that will actually cover you. And all I'm going to do now again is choose another batch of 30, 
click on Start Bulk Optimization and start working my way through the rest of the 123 images that I need to optimize. Okay, so I've now finished running the optimization for all the existing graphics. It took just a couple of minutes. And as you can see, we've reduced the size of our graphics by 72% from 11 megabytes to three megabytes. That's a fairly significant difference and it's gonna make a significant difference to the speed with which our pages load on this blog, which is what we're after. Okay, so next we're gonna move across to the site Health Check and have a look to see if there are any significant problems with the health of our site. Now, as you can see, most of the stuff on my site is okay. It's all in green, except for one big red warning. Uh, we'll look at that in a moment. The important bit here is you can have a daily site health monitoring email message sent to you. You can switch that on and the system will automatically do a check and send you the results on a daily basis if you want, which obviously, if you're running an agency, can be very, very useful for running on your client's sites. Please note, you would need the agency license for WP Profiler to be able to offer this service. Now, most of these are things that relate specifically to your hosting, uh, except the active plugins down here, which is totally under your control, and you should never run too many plugins on your site because that can cause problems. But the rest of these settings are down to your website hosting. So if anything does turn up as a red, as a warning, the best thing to do is take a screenshot of it and get in touch with your web host, show them this report, and see what they have to say. And the actual disk usage warning on this report is a good example of that because for this particular site it's hosted on a cloud hosting platform that is shared and the space is or the storage space is dynamically resized as necessary so that I actually know this is not in fact a problem but I only found that out by talking to my web host. This report is really here to let you know if there are potential problems so that you've got a heads up and you've got the chance to deal with it and get it sorted out. Okay so that's the site health check now we're on to the last part of the system. This is the heart of the system. Uh, we've effectively saved the best for last. So let's have a look at the site speed profiler. And once you're on the site speed profiler page, what you need to do is click on the button to start profiling and click on OK and let it go ahead and run a full site profile performance report. Once it's completed, it will pop up with a message. You can click on OK and you can scroll down to see the report in full. And as you saw, it's very, very quick and easy to run. What you end up with is a visual representation of the site load speed and what is taking time to load. So if something is slowing down your site, you can actually see exactly what it is. You can immediately drill down and find out what you need to do to change your site, to fix it, to make it load faster. Now this is a fairly typical Typical speed profile, you can see we have PHP loading here, then WordPress itself, then we have our plugins loading, then our theme, you can see I have a very light quick loading theme, and then some extra bits that the site needs to do to get loaded up and running. The biggest problems usually are either the plugins or the theme. So these are the two areas where you need to check normally to see what's slowing your site down. And if we scroll down, we can see a more detailed look at the plugins and which ones are taking all the time to load up. Now, if we look at the plugins that are appearing at the top of the list, obviously there is one that stands out miles ahead as a speed hog and it's WordFence Security, which is a security plugin. So obviously that's one I might want to keep. However, if you look further down, I've got Malcare Security as well. I'm actually running two security plugins on this site. So I could potentially remove this, speed up my site load time significantly. The other next plugin down is all in one WP My migration, which I don't actually need. I know that I used that originally when I set up this site, but I no longer need it. So I can remove that plugin as well. That will make a pretty significant difference overall to the load time or the load speed of my site. So as you can see, having this graphical representation of the relevant load times of each of the different plugins makes it so easy to find out what is slowing your site down, what is causing problems, what you can do to make changes and to fix it really quickly and easily. In this situation, I'm gonna go and switch off and remove WordFence security and all-in-one migration, and my site speed is gonna be improved massively. So that at its core is the real beauty and power of WP Profiler. It makes it super easy and quick to see exactly what's going on and fix things with your blog. Okay, that's it for the tutorial video. I hope you found this useful. Please feel free to get in touch if you have any questions, if you have any feedback, if you just wanna chat with us about the plugin, we're always open to hearing your ideas. Thanks very much for watching.